building a flying wind turbine. We are taking the part of the wind turbine that does the most work, which is just the tip of it, and we're kind of extending it. Um, we're making a wing that generates power. Our wing is, is tethered to the ground, so during launch, we're hovering, and so we're sending power from the grid back into the wing. And flying across the wind is where we are generating power. And so essentially what we're doing here is replacing mass with mass. We've got sensors on the wing, and we have computers, we have IMU, we have accelerometers, we have all, all the same stuff that's basically in your cell phone. What, what makes this possible now is materials and computing power. So something that's just the size of your cell phone can fly this thing for hours. Materials like carbon fiber uh, really make it possible to fly something that's as light as what we have now. We've learned a lot, and the next thing to do is scale up. So this isn't really the size that we want to fly for a utility scale. Right now, if you're using an electric car, you're just burning fossil fuels somewhere else to power your clean car. But if we can deploy these offshore, you know, out of sight, along the coast, suddenly you're powering your electric car, your transportation, with something that's not burning and not releasing stuff into the, into the ecosystem.